Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan, the Knicks fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before I get into it, you know what to do. I want y'all to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and if you want to know when the next video drop, slap that notification bell. All right, so far, it looks like the Knicks ain't going to do too much in, with the trade deadline. Fast approaching. Uh, matter of fact, you can say it's a couple of hours, man, hours away. So far, the... Um, Players that we wanted to acquire, they're going they're off the board. A lot of surprising trades with that Halliburton and King's trade. That was shocking, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was very really shocking. But um, I don't know. I, it wouldn't be bad the Knicks stay put. Um, I don't really see too much happening, but I do have, I know it's just like it's a little contradiction what I just said, but I, if, it's in there, if the Knicks was to do go out and trade, I do have three possible trades, maybe one out of three. Um, if we can get all three of these trades, actually, I think it will really help our team. I think it will give us the push we need. If the Knicks is in, let's win mode right now. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a short video, like I said, because I got three possible trades the Knicks can pull off. Maybe we can get one out of three. And like I said, two out of three wouldn't be bad, but if we were to get all three of these players, uh, the Knicks will only be losing five players in the process. We'll be gaining three players. We've got, like I said, three trades. And um, there are players that, well, maybe a lot of y'all didn't have on our radar. The Knicks probably didn't have on their radar. Some players, that, one player they did. Um, and they'll be getting rid of players who we think that's not really helping our team out. Um, them five players that I'm saying that the Knicks would, jet it, the Knicks would get rid of, jettison in the trade. Uh, at for one, Evan Foyer, uh, Kimball Walker, Alec Burks, Norlene's Noel, and Taj Gibson. And I know this one's shocking, but he is on the board. That would be Cam Reddish. I know a lot of y'all would say that don't make no sense. We just traded for him. Why are we going to bring him in and trade him right away? Well, to be honest with you, it looks like the Knicks is kind of desperate right now to make a move. So I'm saying they might not make a move, but if they was to make a move, they will have to put everything on the table and so i don't see cam reddish not being on the table all right so let me just hit you with these three trade scenarios because like i said the trade deadline is mere hours away this video is coming out right now you know what I'm saying hopefully by the time it come out i hope y'all get to see it before the knicks make any moves uh so and hopefully my prediction will come true because actually i think one like i said it's three scenarios here and i think the knicks might make one of these moves Cause who out there is left for the New York Knicks right now? In my view, I see Harrison Barnes, Jeremy Grant, and Spencer Dinwiddie. Now, them are the three players that I think the Knicks might acquire come to trade deadline, or maybe one out of three, maybe two out of three. But um, let's get right here. The money works and everything. I'm gonna hit you with the scenario. I'm gonna put up in the graphic so that you can see how the money work also. But I'm gonna just go right here. The first. The first trade we can get off, we can probably call up Sacramento King. Like I said, I know Sacramento King just made a lot of shocking moves. And I think, you know, they traded away Buddy Hill. So they're still going to be looking for a, a shooting guard, either a starting shooting guard or a backup shooting guard. And I think Evan Foyer would fit very well with Sabonis over there, the way he plays, the way he likes to pass the ball. They're still going to have De'Aaron Fox. I don't see them moving De'Aaron Fox. I know a lot of us, a lot of Knicks fans was thinking that we can move De'Aaron Fox for Julius Randle. And hey, I'm not saying that that's not, that, that's not going to happen, but I like it's an it's a unlikely situation that will happen. So I'm just putting out some, some, some scenarios, you know, saying some, some projected to see what could happen if that don't happen and what the Knicks can do to try to make this team better. Like I said, this first, this first trade scenario is Harrison Bond, Harrison Barnes and Evan Foyer. It will basically be a player for player swap we won't have to add nobody else into it. That's the first, that's the first trade. Our second trade would be um, the New York Knicks going out and getting Jeremy Grant from the Detroit Pistons. Um, I know Detroit Pistons really do want Mitchell Robinson, but the Knicks shouldn't be wanting to give up any part of their young core and we can sweeten the pot. I know what I'm saying, they won't give the young core and we just, here's when, here's when I said that Cam Reddish might get traded off. And I really don't consider Cam Reddish to be our young core because we didn't draft him. Yes, we did give up a first round draft pick for him, 
But um, if they want, if Knicks want to make moves, certain things are going to happen. And I think the Knicks are more, they 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 are more willing to stay with the players that they drafted. So in this trade with for Jeremy Grant, we're going to lose Olive Burks, Norlene's Noel, and Cam Reddish. Um, the money fits right there. Matter of fact, um, Detroit will actually be gaining some defense, uh, a, a crafty but inconsistent player. I don't say, you know, in, in um, Olive Burke, but what they really be looking at, they'll be looking at Cam Reddish and all his, poten his potential. So they, they might be intrigued with that scenario right there with that package. Let's go to this third, but final, but not, but who knows, I can't say least because I don't know what the Knicks is going to do, but the final, the final scenario in this video, <laughs> all right, and like I said, the three players that I won, I already gave up two players in Harrison Barnes and Jeremy Grant, so in this, in this scenario, in this trade scenario, we'll be getting Spencer Dinwiddie from the Washington Wizards, we'll be giving up Kimba Walker and Taj Gibson, um, I think, I think this is a move that um, that the Washington Wizards would go for because Tom Gibson would, Gibson would come and bring stabilize that bench. You know what I'm saying? He won't demand too much playing time and we get in there. We see what Tom Gibson do on a nightly basis. And I think it's Tom Gibson wasn't playing with. I'm being honest, if, I don't, I'm not even going to get into the Julius Randle thing. This is all about the trade scenario that could happen. Uh, like I said, I could see Washington Wizards, but then, you know, they're going to be coming out good, actually, you know, money-wise, because Kimba Walker is an option. He's making $8 million. You can save roughly close to $9 million, but $8,729,000 for two years. The second year is an option, so they'll be losing money. Uh, Todd Gibson's only two years, so that would be off their books where Spencer Dinsley was making $17,142,857 for the next three years. So they 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 might be intrigued with that, you know what I'm saying? And Spencer then when he come in, he'll be our starting point guard. I don't know if a lot of y'all will like that, but I think I would like it for what we got right now. Derrick Rose coming back, he come off the bench. Him and Quickly can go back to what they was doing. Uh, that can move um, Quentin Grimes. He won't be a starter no more, but he'll um, be our shoot. Uh, even our small forward on, on, on coming off the bench. Harrison Barnes, he can even play the small forward when he's when Quentin Grimes is not having a good game, but he definitely can move into that um, um, power forward, or he can be our like I said, he could be he can quit. I mean, excuse me, Harrison Barnes could be our power forward, or he can be a shooting guard. Quentin Grimes can go to our shooting guard backup or our small forward, depending on what kind of night quickly have. Derrick Rose will be on that second unit to solidify it. Uh, Obi Toppin can come into that goddamn. Um, Obi top and be the power for it. Our backup center, you know, we just got rid of Tobbs Gibson and Norlene's Noel. So this will, you know what I'm saying? This time of season right now, it don't look like we're going to make the playoffs. And even so, then we have to bring in Jericho Sims or we can call up Luca Samuels from the G League. But either way, the Knicks will benefit from this trade right here. Honestly, the Knicks would. Uh, with this, we have, with the Spencer Dim Dimwitty trade, we have a three game projected win added plus. Um, the only one we lose out is that Jeremy Grant. I'm not going to lie. Jeremy Grant, they actually have a prediction of two minus, minus two Lord wins uh, if we was to um, trade for Jeremy Grant. But that's just if the team stayed the way it is. But we made them other moves like we was to get Harrison Barnes and Spencer Dinwiddie. I can't see if they can put that accurately because they, they didn't get count for that. But I'm just thinking right now, if we can get them three players in the trade deadline, that should help the Knicks out. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, I don't know. Like I said, things is not looking too good for the Knicks right now. So we'll see. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, I want y'all to stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and peace.